Hi, my name is Marcelo Baez and I'm a comic book illustrator and teacher from Sydney. Welcome to the Sketch Your Own Comic Workshop, thanks to my friends at Stockland. Now, before we get started, if you look below this video, you'll see a download workshop material button. You'll need to click on that button to download the workshop material, so you can print it out and follow along with me at home. If you don't have a printer, you don't need to worry at all. You can still complete these workshops with some pens and paper. Alternatively, you might decide to print out a few of the pages only in black and white. With this in mind, let's make sure you're prepped. Every good comic book artist and illustrator needs a workstation. So, if you haven't already, stop this video and grab yourself some paper and coloured pens. Let me show you the sort of illustration equipment I use to do my best work. Basic things, pencils, pens, different thicknesses are a good idea. I like using Sharpies, I like using, like, I like a lot of variety basically, so you gotta find what's comfortable for you. All right, let's get into it. As I said, my name is Marcelo and I'm an illustrator and comic book artist. I'm based here in Wollongong. I've been drawing professionally for about 12 years. I love what I do. I got my start with an agent over in New York, which introduced me to doing lots of different type of work, doing kids illustration and actual comic book illustration is what I love. And bit by bit, I practiced and kept sending work overseas and getting more projects. I got to work for Marvel thanks to my agent based in New York. They saw my portfolio online and liked what they saw and basically they asked me to do a kids book. And the kids book was called Hulk Saves a Day and it was a fantastic project I got to work on. And then after that I did another uh, project for them for an Avengers project and a Wolverine project. What inspires me about comic books is I love the drawings, I love the colours and I love the stories. Mostly I love the stories. I love how it just takes you into another world. And that's what I like to do with my own artwork too. I like to take people into another world and show them interesting characters and, and really, you know, leave this world and enter another world with the drawings. Over the next four workshops, I'll be taking you on a comic book journey. I've been working hard with Stockland to design and craft four fun interactive comic book workshops for you. The purpose of these four workshops is to learn the basic skills of comic character and character design and visual storytelling that pertain to comics, manga, and graphic novels. These skills also dive into the basics of storyboarding for film, television and video games. The first two sessions will concentrate on comic character and character design. The third and fourth sessions concentrate on visual storytelling in comics. Alright, by the end of the fourth session, the finished product, you'll have character designs on one hand and your storytelling on the other hand. So that with the character design, you'll have the sheets, the character sheets, and then with the finished story, you'll have an actual comic page or several comic pages of storytelling. By the end of the fourth workshop, you would have created your very own comic. And better yet, after each session, you'll get a chance to upload photos of your creations. And you know what the best thing is? After the fourth session, I'll be picking the 20 most creative creations. The competition closes at 11.59 p.m. on Monday the 4th of October. I'll be looking for creativity, originality, and interesting storytelling. And by interesting storytelling, it doesn't need to be a great drawing, but it needs to tell a great story. For the character design judging, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for different types of characters from different angles, I want interesting, unusual ideas. I don't mind what style it's in. I'm more interested in originality and something that's fun and interesting. The top 20 most creative creations will be sent a signed book of the Super Australians. This is a comic book which features some of my very own illustrations and the top two winners will be sent a signed limited edition print of mine. All right, let's get into workshop one, comic characters and character design, part one. Let's start with an exercise. You will need to refer to page three of the PDF you have downloaded. We've popped an image up on screen of what that workshop book looks like. Okay, the first workshop is a warm up. It's a very simple warm up. So what you'll need is you'll need your pen or pencil and a piece of paper. And it will start like this. We'll start with four very simple circles. They don't need to be perfect. They can look like potatoes. That's perfectly fine. The next step, once you've got your four circles down, is then you've got to get your pen again and then draw four random dashes inside each circle. Now, the key is random. So you want to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Don't think about it too much. Just throw them inside the circle. They can be wobbly lines. It's, it really doesn't matter. So once you've done that, 
Now the key is to go to each circle and see if you can find a face. So in the first circle here, what I want to do is turn it into an interesting looking face by just adding a few little details and hopefully the random lines will lead to an interesting creation. Now remember, this is just a warm up. You can add as much detail as you like or as little detail as you like. You can add hair, you can add ears. The point is you want to make some simple little quick faces. So then you can even turn your sheet of paper if you like. You can turn it around. If you see a face that looks more interesting the other way, you can move it around. So, and you can even jump around. You don't have to start from the top. And what might be a good idea too is to look for totally different expressions. So here I might turn that one into a nose. Turn it to a person with funny glasses. And then you can even add some rabbit ears, why not? So remember, this is just a warm up. You just wanna have a bit of fun with it. Be a bit silly with it. Whatever you like to do. So have a play with that. You can do as many as you want. I, I suggest four, but if you wanna do more, feel free to do more. Okay, so the importance of all the characters that you'll be seeing on screen, no matter what the style, is they all have one simple thing in common. And the one simple thing is they all have a backbone, no matter how goofy or, or heroic they are, they all have a simple line, which is a backbone. So that, with the images you're seeing now, you'll see that each level, as you break it down, it gets simpler and simpler, it starts with a backbone. Okay, so here's the next bit, drawing a good stick figure. Now it sounds really basic and it is really basic, but the important thing is to learn to draw a good stick figure. So it doesn't matter what style you're into, if you're into American comics, if you're into manga, if you're into funny cartoons, it doesn't really matter. Everything tends to start with a stick figure. So let me show you what I mean. Everything starts with a backbone and then the largest mass, which is the upper torso and the lower torso. So most characters, that's how I start most characters. So that is basically two circles and a line. Once you've done that, the next simple step is just to add some, a couple of circles for the shoulders, a couple of circles for the hips. Then you add some simple lines to start to create a very simple figure. Then the arms. Now notice that I'm just drawing straight lines and circles and triangles, I'm keeping things very, very simple. And then a, a neck and then a circle. So that is what I call a good stick figure. Now I know it's not a perfect stick figure, but it's all about practice. Okay, so stick figures, we'll, we've had a practice and now I wanna quickly review what we've just talked about and you'll see some images as well. You'll see an image of me in a very goofy pose, which I think you'll enjoy. So if I review, the stick figure without the circles will look a little bit like that. That being the backbone, hips, shoulders. Then circle, circle again, simple lines, keeping everything very simple. You can choose your own pose. You don't have to do it like mine if you don't want to, that's okay. Now you'll see an image of me in a pose. And then what I've done with that is basically use that to find the stick figure in the actual drawing. So that's a review. So if you use those sheets that you've got, you can use those as a, use those as a step-by-step -step process to get it done. Okay, so part of your practice time as well, will refer to some of the images that you'll see on screen. Now, you should be seeing a picture of my niece when she was very little, and I asked her to help me out with a project where I had to draw an ugly monster. So the whole point of this is that it doesn't matter what you look like when you're posing for your own images, it's more about acting the character. So if you act like the character and then you use that as practice, you can turn it into any character you like. And if you look at the image, there's a picture of my niece and there's, there's an ugly monster right next to her that's in exactly the same pose. But guaranteed my niece is not that ugly. And the next bit is if you look at some images of me posing, you'll see some pictures. I think the pictures of me look like that in the image where I'm folding my arms together. So you'll see that you can turn that image into a young girl or an ugly monster, which you'll see some examples on the screen as well.
Now here's your chance to draw your own character, okay? And to give you some inspiration, we've supplied you with a bunch of cool looking animals because when I look for inspiration, I look to nature, I look to movies and television, wherever you want. So the cool thing about characters is that when you look at different animals, you'll find really interesting shapes that you can use to create your own original characters. So please use the images that are there or you can get your own as well. Feel free to do whichever one you like. All you need to do is to upload the photo of your creation to the wall. You can also explore the wall by clicking on the wall tab. Your creations will then live on the Stockland wall where you'll be able to check out some of the other creations. Remember, the 20 most creative creations will win a prize. Thanks so much for tuning in. In the next session, we'll be taking a deeper dive into comic characters and character design. My name is Marcelo and it's been a pleasure to host this comic book character design workshop for you today. And thank you very much Stockland for making this possible. And don't forget, never stop creating and imagining. Remember, practice makes perfect.